Hey guys, it's your girl Shayna Lane 2121 coming at you with a video on how to do, what are we doing? Strawberry preserves or jam, strawberry, strawberry jam? jam? What's the difference between preserves and jam? Oh shit. Preserving it is basically just keeping it so it don't go rotten. Jamming it is making something you can put on your bread to eat with your toast. <laughs> and even though it's Don't you want to jam tonight? <laughs> Anyways, so we're, we're going to be making strawberry jam. Yes. And of course we've got We're going to use preserves. Well, of course we've got Clay. And we've got Clay's mom, my mother-in-law, Brenda. Say hi, Brenda. Hi. <laughs> so, um, I guess we can show you guys what we need to get started and what you're going to need to get started if you're going to do this. Um, so what do we need, Clay? You're going to need strawberries. We've got sitting here. <laughs> Today we're going to be using strawberries. Two pounds. Two pounds. And you'll need lemon juice. Two tablespoons. And you'll need sugar one. gel. Pectin. One pectin, grams. same thing. 49 grams, one package. Sugar. Gonna need a lot of sugar. Seven, like 12, 14 sweet. cups. I mean, it's up to you. 14 cups. We about don't, seven we don't need about seven this cups. This recipe may not be for diabetics. Yeah, it might not be for you if your sugar's not right. <laughs> and then, you know, this is your normal measuring stuff. I ain't gonna go into detail what you need to measure with. You know, it's, it's, it's not that kind of video. You'll have to go back into some other videos we'll put out, you know, if you need to learn how to measure. So, so let me know if you guys need help with that. <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and start cutting the strawberries because we need to get off the, um, the stem part and kind of hole it out so there's no, no green base to it. And so you don't want to chop the whole thing off because you'll waste too much of the strawberry flesh. So you're just going to get a small knife. And all we're going to do is we're going to take a smaller knife. And I have gloves on, so bear with me. Tell them why you have the gloves on, I don't want to get my sweetie. Hands, my pretty hands stained. Okay. So you're just going to go in just around the core. And you know, there's probably a better way to do this. Yes, there is. Just, uh, just pull the leaves off. Yeah. Bam. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. But actually, you did that worked job. very well. Thank you very much. All right. Talk about that, that smack. Get over here on the board so they can see a pro do it. Let's get over Cut. No, ain't no cut. Go ahead. No, I'm going to show us how she does it. Now it's a pro do it. Boom! Because again, I'm just learning. All right. Right around in a circle. Bam. Didn't even look like she was going to cut herself on that one. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> you look very dangerous with that knife. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's All right. Try it again. All right. I took that off. I do feel like I'm going to cut myself since I'm not here. Okay. Here we go. She need, like, she need Teflon gloves instead of plastic gloves. I do. <laughs> Fencing yeah. gloves. It's like a little baby knife <laughs> is what I need. I don't know how she did that all smooth. I was like, damn. Like this. Because the way you hold it. It's a knife you got. It's a knife you got. You spent, you sp I used this one. Oh, shit. More so spin you your strawberry, spin too. You're going you're gonna to rotate you your like hand and spin that, your strawberry. Take that. You see how I got it hold? See how she spin her hand and the strawberry? See that? She's just kind of like using a little motion. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Didn't see you do it, though. Because you weren't. I should do another one. There's plenty. Now you would think this wouldn't be so hard, but uh, you're getting some one-on-one -on -one lessons on how to core a dang strawberry, or not even core, but the whole, I guess you would call it. Core. I don't know if it's whole. Is it whole? You know what? It's like... Or, or I mean, is it core or whole? Core. Because core would be like coring an apple, where you take the whole in the middle out. Well, that is kind of the middle of the strawberry. Yeah, yeah true like that. that. Like a tomato, you core it the same way, you know? Okay, so now that we're done coring the strawberries, and we have about eight cups, now what you need to do before you do anything else is you need to wash them. Anytime you have fresh fruit or vegetables, of course you want to go ahead and wash them, make sure they're free of any insecticides, pesticides, all that good stuff. So we want to make sure that these are thoroughly washed before we go ahead and proceed to cutting them. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm coming. 
So, now we've gone ahead and we've rinsed these thoroughly. And I guess now we're going to cut them up, is that right? That's right. And you um, better hurry quick, because she keeps on eating strawberries like crazy. I know, my daughter's in here just eating them up. She's going to have them all eaten up. Now, is there a specific um, size that these need to be cut up into, or does it matter? Let's put in a couple at a time. This is a little fan, new fandangled hand blender riser, chopper riser, whatever, that we got at the swap meet. The guy was selling them, and he was doing a great job. But, uh, of course, unlike his demonstration, I'm not as good as he is. But it's supposed to be just hand crank. And it just chops them up. Right Let's see what we got. Maybe. That's that's good. That's how it, it's uh, interchangeable. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna leave that in there. Yeah, I don't even care. And you can go ahead and put those in the pan. Oh, the pan. So this is what they look like. Mm -hmm. And that's about the size that you want them. Smaller pieces, perfect for your jam. And that saves you from chopping, you know, put about five in there at a time and just chop them up. Now what we're going to do that's a little bit different is we're going to like actually take, uh, what would you bring over? You bring over your little, your hand blender? I brought over my hand blender. Yeah, and we're going to blend some up to make it more juicy so you could have some chunks mixed in with some juice. So it's just a little different than everybody else does it. And you have to make sure you do quality control. She's so preoccupied with that whole thing, she would uh, she turn around and say, Hey, where's the strawberry go? <laughs> so as you can see, we've got a lot of strawberries to get through, so we will get those all chopped up. We don't want to bore you, and we'll be back with the next step. So now, like I was telling you, she brought her hand blender over. It's kind of like the same, you know, used to make mashed potatoes. Instead of using a hand masher, she can use this. And it'll process them up and make them a little more juicy for you. Juicy. Juicy. But yet it'll still be chunky. Juicy yet chunky. That's the new, uh, that's the new, uh, way of eating your jam. And with each batch that she chops up, I'll do this. And that way I'll sure to get it all. See how it's still chunky, but it's getting juicier. Alright, now she's scooping the sugar in there, getting our measurement ready. We need seven cups. That thing's five cups, and she'll do one full this one. This is two and a half cups, this one. Oh, that one is? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have your other one? My other one was used for the strawberries. Oh, used it. Okay, so two and a half, she'll just do that. Bunch of times. <laughs> it's really nothing but sugar, guys, I promise. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the two tablespoons of lemon juice to the strawberries that have already been processed. There's one. And two. There's two. Okay. And what's the next step? She's adding, she's we're still measuring. The next step, you're going to put the package of uh, pectin? sugar gel, pectin. Yeah, so what, what, this, what this pack of pectin is going to do is basically it's going to give it that viscosity that, you know, you see in other jams when you buy it at the store. Um, it's just going to keep it together and keep it gelled, basically. So you're going to add one whole packet, and one packet comes per box. So you're just going to add the whole packet. And it's white powder. They do have a liquid pectin. And if you were using a liquid, then you'd, you'd put it in after you heat your ingredient. Now you want to turn that on and bring it to a full boil. And I'm going to mix it, right? Yeah, mix so that up. Get it all nice and smooth all around there, so it's all mixed in and blended any, in. Yeah, you don't want any. Lumps and go ahead and turn the heat on, and you start warming it now. 
And, and you're going to have to keep stirring it while you're doing it because you do not want your sugar or the strawberries or anything in there to burn because if you get a burnt lard. flavor in there, it's ruined. Then, yeah, you'll burn the whole batch because you can't get that flavor out of it. And you just want it on low heat? No, you want to bring that thing to a boil. Put it, put it on low to start. Yeah, well, get it warmed up. It. Don't just burn it, but yeah. Okay. Is that Yeah. And then are we going to add the sugar? No, after you, what you're going to do is you're going to bring that thing to a boil. Uh huh. You're going to stir it up. And then once it gets to a, a nice boil, then you add your sugar in there and it's going to cool it back down. You'll keep stirring it until it becomes to a, another boil, like a rapid boil. And then you'll want to continue stirring for about one more minute and turn the heat off and let it settle. And then you'll scoop all the, pretty much all the frost that'll come up on top, all the foam. Scoop that, it'll ladle that out. And then you're ready to go. Start pouring in the. Do we have our jars already? Jars. Not yet. Alright, guys. So, if you've watched the other video, the canning video on the tomatoes, you'll know that obviously you need to get your jars um, sterilized. And you do that by washing them and disinfecting them. And then you'll go ahead and boil them in the hot water. Um, for just basically long enough to get them sterile, about maybe 10 15 minutes or so, and then um, they'll be nice and sterile for you and ready to can with. So, we are still cooking the strawberry preservatives or jam over there, and then uh, we'll come back after all the jars are done and we'll go to the next step in doing the jam. So, yeah. Alright, so now that we've got it to a rapid boil, we're going to go ahead and add all the sugar in. Took a whole big bowl. That was what, seven cups? Seven cups. So now we're going to really want to stir that and keep it stirring because we don't want it to burn. Because if it burns, then you mess up the whole batch. I'm just going to mix in all of that sugar. That increased the volume. <laughs> Quite a bit. So you just want to make sure it's well mixed in because you don't want any chunks of sugar. So now are you going to bring that back up to a boil? Yeah, once it comes up back up to a rolling boil, then you want to boil it for about one minute. Okay. And then take it off the heat, and you're going to skim all of this froth that's on there. Uh, now, are you going to do the butter trick? Well, we could have done the butter trick on before we actually put the sugar in. Ah, uh, but we had to put the sugar in. Yeah. Okay. We could still probably put the butter in there. It might help it somewhat. I don't know if there's that much foam. Well, you haven't boiled it yet, though. Oh, it's not too bad. And basically the butter, you can add butter, I guess, to give it a gloss. And then also it helps to um, cut down on some of the foam once you get it boiling and everything. Okay. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and skim off the froth off of the top of the batch here. So she's just skimming off all that froth. And why don't we want that? Well, it actually can cause it to grow mold later on, and it doesn't look very pretty. Oh, yeah, we don't want mold. Okay, that makes sense. And I was asking, because it doesn't look very thick right now, when does it, you know, when does it thicken up? And it thickens up after it cools, which makes sense to me. It's, it's a little bit thicker now, but... It'll thicken up even more, like a jelly, like a jam, once it's uh, cool. I think and that's set. pretty good. You're not going to be able to get every little bit, but. See, I would have never even known about that. Raw. Okay. Sorry for the bumpiness.
Now I'm going to move this over here to the other side. And again, if you've seen the tomato video, then you've seen that funnel, and that's to keep the rim of the jar clean. And you want to get it about a quarter of an inch from the top. And these ones are the ones you're doing right now are the pint size jars? These are, yes, a pint size. And you can get them in various sizes. She's got some smaller ones and then some wider ones there as well. Yeah, that yeah, one could use some more. I think I might just be able to top those off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It smells delicious. Just about going to do it. Alright. So I've got those six jars filled up. Okay, at this point, what you want to do, what I normally do is I use a paper towel. Get it just a little bit wet. And then I wipe the rings down just to make sure there's nothing on there so that we put them in the boiling water, those lids will seal. So now that she's got the rims clean, she's going to go ahead and put on the seal, and that's what's going to lock, lock them up and seal them. And you want to make sure that you don't touch the bottom because, you know, that's going to be the part that's in there with the food and you don't want any bacteria to grow in there. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put on your rings and you're going to put them on finger tight because you don't want too much pressure in there when they um, start to boil and then when they cool off and expand. So just finger tight. Don't put it on tight like the Hulk. And the jars are hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. Huh? <laughs> Duh. This is where this handy dandy get, get gadget comes into play. This is the uh, jar tongs. You pick it up. Fits perfectly. Yeah. Put it in here carefully. Make sure the water is covering the jars. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. 
made one of those for eggs because I always drop eggs in there. A little egg dropper for when you're boiling eggs. That's something. Or taking them out. Whatever. And how long are we going to leave those in? We're going to let them go for about 10 minutes. I'm going to cover them and let them boil for about 10 minutes. All right. So we'll be back. All right. All right. So now we're back and they are done boiling. So we're just going to go ahead and take them out with those special tongs. That's what they look like. As you see, the strawberries have gone up to the top, and then you've got the liquid at the bottom. It has settled. Okay, that's it. All right, and then how long do we let those sit? At least 24 hours. 24 hours. And then do they have to be refrigerated, or you can just put them in the pantry? After that, you can just put them in the pantry. All right, and then refrigerate them after they're open. Absolutely. All right, so there you go, guys. There's your video for how to make strawberry um, jam. So, yeah, so we'll definitely come back and show you when they're done and open it and see what it looks like and tell you what it tastes like. So, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's your girl Shay Lane 2121, and we are done. We've been done with the strawberry jam. And I was just editing the video and realized I forgot to show you guys what it looked like after. So it's been a couple days. Um, as you can see, we've already torn into a jar. Um, this is a consistency, like regular jam. So it's been in my refrigerator, and it's delicious. I will say that right now. It's the bomb diggity. Let's see if I can get this lid off. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to get some toast here. It's toasting away. Mm. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, buddy. So I'm just going to get some toast. Some, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. This stuff, I can't believe it's not butter. It's so bomb, people. If you don't know about I can't believe it's not butter, you should definitely... Get on that, because I can't believe it's not butter. For real. It's not butter. It's not butter. Can't you believe it? Really? I can't believe it. What is it? And so, just like regular jelly, guys, like some freaking smuckers, look at that. Just, that's the consistency we were talking about. Oh, ho, ho. As far as, you know, it's spreading and having that viscosity of jam. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? And this is... You know, what's cool about it is I know what's in it. I know there's tons of sugar in it, but, <laughs> you know, I know who made it and what's in it, and it's just beautiful, and it's delicious. I mean, it's just ridiculously good. Now, if you're diabetic, I suggest you use way less sugar, um, but I'm not, so I'm going to go ahead and partake in this delicious yumminess here. From our kitchen to yours. I love Delicious. So, that has been making strawberry jam with Shay Lane 2121, Koi Vaughn, and my mother-in-law, Brenda. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know if there's more videos you guys want to see as far as cooking or canning, and we'll see if we can do them. And, um, yeah, so, juices.